As Oklahoma State has traveled around the nation winning games on the road, the program has also traveled straight up in the national rankings. On Saturday morning, the number four team in the BCS was playing away from Stillwater for the fourth time in five games. And even though the Cowboys were riding an eight-game winning streak on the road, the Missouri Tigers had something to be proud of themselves, having won 10 straight here at Faroe Field. It was a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but just another business trip for the traveling Orange Assassins. Mike Gundy's guys came in riding the nation's second longest winning streak on the road. Things certainly started out smoothly enough for the Cowboys as they got on the board early and often. First of all, tapping a nine play, 74 yard drive with a 27 yard pass to the wide open Michael Harrison for the touchdown. 7 0 Cowboys with 6.47 left in the first. Harrison had three catches for 71 yards. Three minutes later, it's third and two when Hubert Anium makes the catch on the sideline good for 31. Unfortunately, that's the last catch you're going to see Anium make this season. The senior broke a bone in his foot and is out for the remainder of the season. But Justin Blackman was still in and he capped a 10 play 88 yard drive with this easy eight yard catch for the score with under two minutes left in the first quarter. 14-3 Cowboys, Blackman would not play in the second half though because he was suffering from concussion-like symptoms. He was banged up early and got most, if not all, of his eight catches for 54 yards after taking a shot to the head very early in the game. How about it being 21-3 only four seconds into the second quarter when Joseph Randall catches the bullet from Brandon Whedon for a 13-yard score. Whedon was 33-49 of 49 for 338 yards with three touchdowns and one interception. More on Mr. Randall in a minute. Missouri wasn't about to give up so easily. In front of a crowd exceeding 64,000, the Tigers fought back. And when James Franklin hit the ridiculously open T.J. Moe on the play-action pass for the 34-yard touchdown, Mizzou trailed by only seven, 24-17. Going into halftime, the momentum was definitely on their side. Um, it's one of those things where you know defense has got to take that away from you know the offense can can take the wind out of their sails by scoring, but if their offense isn't productive, then they'll really just you know that'll really take them out of the game. And so turnovers just you know kills teams. So and turnovers would turn the game around in the second half. Four and a half minutes after the break, James Franklin's pass is tipped at the line, up and eventually into the hands of linebacker Sean Lewis. No, no concerns at all. You know we all lean on each other in times of desperation, and uh, we knew our offense can do something with the ball if we got the ball back to them. So we really stressed that when we're on the sidelines. From there, OSU only needed to drive 27 yards for the score. The last 16 came on the nifty run by the super sophomore Joseph Randall. And OSU extended the lead back to 14, 31 to 17. Touchdown. Then a sequence of plays Oklahoma that sealed State. it. The Cowboys are at the Mizzou five yard line when Brandon Whedon gets fooled. His pass intended for Michael Harrison is picked off by EJ Gaines, who takes it back 54 yards. Weaving down the sideline, eventually getting gang tackled there. Guys jumping on top. And Faroe Field is rocking. But on second and goal from the four yard line, James Franklin is stripped by Wilson Newman. And Sean Lewis is once again in the right place at the right time as he scoops it up. Lewis finished with nine tackles, with one interception and one fumble recovery. And only three plays later, well, it's Joseph Randall again. He breaks the Tigers' backs when he finds a hole and turns on the Jets. Randall races 59 yards unimpeded for his third score of the day. He'd even add one more very late as OSU wins it 45-24. Randall runs 14 times for 138 yards and three touchdowns and scores four touchdowns overall on a career day. The Cowboys roll up 533 total yards on offense and win convincingly, even without the services of some of their premier players. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I just think our team plays with a lot of confidence. We have a number of guys that have been in battles and, and had success, and we've been fortunate. Uh, like Isaiah Anderson stepped up in a full-time role today and made catches. Probably played better than he's ever played. And, uh, it's interesting how, how, the, how young men will play when they know they have to play. We've got a good football team. You know, uh, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, we've got guys that can make a lot of plays, and. And the guys that have played before, that's, that's, that's another thing. we got guys that are, it's not the first time to play, you know. So, um, 
you know, unfortunately we had some guys nicked up and we had we had to get a step up and make huge plays for us. Scott, Mike caught that touchdown, Isaiah made some big plays and um, Tracy caught a couple big balls for us. So it's, um, you know, we're just, uh, tell you what, I'm excited for the guys. We got a, we got a great group of guys on, I'm speaking offensively, you know, just, uh, you know, we got to keep rolling. And we can do whatever for real. We just do what we want. And the uh, play caller just, he calls whatever he wants to call and we make the best of it. We got players everywhere, so it was just my turn to make plays today. So if Missouri does indeed join Texas A&M in leaving the Big 12 for the SEC, it will be a fond farewell tour for Oklahoma State. One month ago, the Cowboys got a dramatic win over the Aggies, Kyle Field in College Station. Saturday morning, the Cowboys told the Tigers, don't let the door catch your tail on the way out. Reporting from Faroe Field in Columbia, Missouri, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.